So I haven't ever done this before, and that's what we do on this channel quite often. It's something I haven't done before. And we're gonna do some bacon wrapped hot dogs. Now, I'm only gonna do four hot dogs, and I got a lot of bacon. So I'm just gonna fry the extra up because it ain't gonna go to waste. Love bacon. I'll have a few strips with the dog, no doubt. But I got four dogs, and we're gonna wrap them in one piece of bacon each and throw them right on this black stump. Over here, I've got some grease that's over 300 degrees right now. And what goes better with a hot dog than potato chips? Come on, maybe tater tots, but that's still potatoes, I don't know. Anyways, I thought we're gonna make some homemade potato chips. So I took an old meat slicer, I, an inexpensive one I got at Harbor Freight a while back, sliced them up thin, and we're gonna cook them right here as well to go with the dog. Let's go ahead and get started. Get me a glove on each hand while I wrap this. And we're just gonna take one dog and we're gonna wrap it like this. You know, I said one bacon. I think two bacons per dog. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Hopefully it stays together and don't fall apart. I don't know. Uh, we're going to place it right here and I'm going to do the other four. Oh yeah. Nice, nice, nice sizzle. Yeah, that kind of tight there. Hopefully when it browns, it, it stays in position. I'm gonna put this side that I bent down, see if that'll. Okay, got my four dogs down. And uh, I could put this in the fridge and use it later for breakfast or freeze it. We love bacon. I'm just going to cook it up. It'll be eaten. There ain't a whole lot left. So welcome into the Oaky Smoking Outdoor Kitchen. My name is John. If you're new here, uh, welcome. Uh, right here in Oklahoma, I do all my cooking as much as I can outdoors when weather permits. And it permits very well right now. It's pretty warm. It's a little cooler, but it was still hot enough. I mean, I had to jump in the pool earlier. That's fine. I, I got my swimsuit on, got cooled off, and now I'm out here cooking uh, some dinner uh, on the Blackstone. So if you enjoy that type of content, be sure and subscribe. And that's still not letting go. We're going to crank the heat up just a little bit on these. And let's check and see what the temperature of this grease is where we're going to cook the potato chips. We'll turn it just a little. We're at about 333, 340 degrees. About 350 would be good for the potato chips. So uh, while this cooks, I, I need to go ahead and cut up some onion here. I'm gonna add that tomato as well. That's homegrown, a better boy tomato. Grew right in our yard. because I want to caramelize them onions just a bit. So we're gonna put those here, let those caramelize a little. Okay. Yeah, we want to crank the heat up with this bacon. I think we get a little low. Like I said, I cut these up and I put them in this container with paper towels, trying to just kind of get some of the starch and moisture out of them a little bit. Um, I've got them in layers and here's one layer right here. And there's another layer beneath it and I'll just close it up. Try to keep flies and stuff out of it. Start a batch and see how it does. Okay. 
Man, cooking potato chips outside on the black stone with a little cast iron skillet. <laughs> yeah. And look at the thinness. Those are definitely nice and thin. So I knew the bacon isn't cooking right. We're out of fuel. Luckily, I got a propane tank. Let me switch. I got a full one right here. And we're cooking again. Normally I do videos and I run the, uh, the, the camera's battery dead or SD card full. We ran the propane out. So let's go ahead and let these cook up. That should start heating back up. These should start cooking again. That was the problem why nothing is happening for a moment here. Okay. Do a lot of cooking out here. I go through a propane tank insanely fast, I will say. Yeah, ah, we're getting the cooking motion going once again. Got this on here, uh, this little deal to drain the grease off. So what's that one slogan? You can't just eat one. Is that Lay's? I think it's Lay's. If it isn't, let me know. Now that's how this is. You can't just eat one. Gotta have. Hmm. Can't just eat one. So now let's go ahead and build this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take. I mean, wow! Look at those. Take a look at that. If that don't just look amazing. Holy moly. That looks great. So, we're going to build one. We're going to put this right in between a bun. Then, I've got these uh, trapeze peppers, which I just love these things. So, I've got three right here, and I'm just going to Go ahead and lay them right along the lines of here. Uh, my tomatoes that were cooked, I'm gonna line one up here. I mean, look at that. Little onion on it, come on now. Come on! And yeah, this onion is a, been cooking a while, but we're gonna throw that right there because that's gonna be amazing. That is gonna be amazing. Throw you an extra piece of bacon on if you want, but I think we're good. And then I'm going to add some mustard. Add a little mustard here. And this right here, this is some uh, Yucatan guacamole. And man, it, I, it it's great. It's just, it's at Winco. Uh, I got the medium, you can get it in mild, you can get it in various forms. Great with some chips. Had to run in the house, I almost forgot cheese. Gotta have some cheese. And there we go. Cheese is kind of melting a little bit from that hotness. Let's go ahead and give this a try. And there you go, potato chips and all. So Dolores went ahead and made hers, and you can see how hers looks all nice. I mean, much better than mine. A little less guacamole. Just looks amazing. So there it is, got the onions, guacamole, and chips. We're gonna find out what she thinks about it now. Since I'm cheating on my keto thing. Bite of that bacon wrapped hot dog, what do you think? You like it? How about that chip? Try one of them chips. Got a crunch to it. I heard it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's the chips we cooked right here on the Blackstone. The bacon-wrapped uh, hot dog. It's really, really good. I'm going to have another. Uh, If you enjoy outdoor cooking like this, be sure and subscribe. I'll be back in another video real soon, so you don't want to miss that. Subscribe, notifications, you know the drill. I'll see you soon.